Hi guys and welcome to this video for these amazing delicious wraps. So we are making coriander wraps today. So all you need to do is chop up your coriander, pop it in a blender with a little bit of water and just start giving it a little bit of a blitz. So once your coriander is all browned up, we're going to add in some organic sprouted flaxseed here. Um, I'm using one by Higher Nature. And we're just going to blend that up with the rest of the coriander and water. And just get a really nice kind of sludgy <laughs> consistency um, that we're going to pop into our dehydrator afterwards. So as you can see, it's kind of thick, a little bit gloopy. So perfect consistency for wraps. So we're just going to pour this wrap mixture onto our dehydrator trays. Um, you can put it on a very low heat on the uh, in the oven. But what I would be tempted to do is actually put it in the oven after you've already cooked other things. Um, I prefer to use a dehydrator because it keeps all of the enzymes intact by not heating it over 42 degrees. Um, so I haven't got any Teflex um, sheets. So what I'm using here is just a little bit of baking um, baking sheet stuff, <laughs> whatever it's called, you guys know what I mean, uh, like non-stick stuff, so that will just peel off really nicely. Um, and we're just going to kind of dehydrate this for probably about 24 hours. Um, so you just want to make sure that it's, it peels away nicely from the sheets when you get it out of the dehydrator. Um, this stuff is really, really delicious. Um, I was really quite chuffed after I made these the first time, so I wanted to share them with you all. Um, you can use any herb. I've chosen coriander because I love coriander, but you can use basil, you can use anything you like. You, oh, I tell you what would be amazing, some nice oregano ones. You could do like a pizza wrap, that would be delicious as well. Um, so we just pour that on, and then we're just going to pop that tray back in, and pop the lid on, and then switch the dehydrator on. We're going to leave that for 24 hours. Ooh, twinkly. <laughs> and then now we've got our salad. So this is just shredded up carrots um, using a Julienne peeler, really cheap from um, Lakeland or online. Um, I've put some nutritional yeast in there for loads of B vitamins. Um, I always feel really good when I eat lots of nutritional yeast. We've got avocado in there for some really good fat. Um, avocado is meant to be one of the most kind of um, nutrient dense foods, like a, a whole round good food. Um, and I like using my scissors just to snip that salad into kind of easily chewable pieces. We've also got some red cabbage in there and some courgette too. So we're just gently now peeling the wrap away from the sheet. Pretty, I'm pretty impressed. It's stayed in one, nearly one whole piece. Um, and then we're just going to pop our salad in there. So you guys know me, I like to eat. And um, we'll chop it in half. And we're just going to put a little bit more salad on there as well. So I do like a lot of food. Uh, so you want to nourish yourself, you want to eat lots of nice, healthy, delicious, tasty food. Um, and that is our salad and our wrap. So if you fancy making this at home, try Ira if you've got a dehydrator. Any of my clients, you can borrow my dehydrator and have a go. Um, and that's it. That is our tasty wrap. Um, perfect for lunches. Um, and honestly, it was so delicious. Um, a few family members had a try and they all loved it too. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Have an awesome day and don't forget to move and nourish yourself every day. Have